What's happening, my friends? Mr. Nomad Ben here. Welcome to day three to my journey back up north to my hometown of Warrenville in Wheaton, Illinois. And this is my childhood best friend, Michael. And uh, when we were kids and, uh, and entering high school, we loved to hike at my place called Herrick Lake. Wonderful forest preserve. And throughout our towns of Warrenville and Wheaton and Lombard and Glendellen, just basically that part of the Chicagoland area, there are tons of forest preserves. But Herrick Lake is one that's closest to our hearts, and we want to share it with you guys today. Get to know my buddy Michael a little bit, and let's go for a little walk around Herrick Lake. So here we go. Tell us all about where you've been, Nomad Ben. Tell us all about the finer points of living and your traveling. Food, beer, history, and nature quest. Every corner of the world do it great Midwest. Tell us all about where you've been, Nomad Ben. We start walking around Herrick Lake. You got parts of the lake over here, and people are enjoying the day on this Saturday morning, fishing and walking their dogs. Michael wanted to take me to the information kiosk to show you guys something here. So, Michael, what's up? Yeah, so here at the information kiosk, we're right here at the lake, uh, which is right on the right. As you can see, there's lots of trails here. So, uh, grow, growing up, uh, rode the bike a lot. There's trails that go all the way out to another lake um, on the other side of town. Uh, there's also camping, which is not too far from here. Lots of really great things to do here at Herrick Lake. A lot of memories that you and I have made when we were kids here too, man. You and I would uh, make some fun videos together, and we will do it here, here at Lake Herrick Lake. Exactly. Yeah. We'll make our way over to that building in a minute. But here's just more shots of this beautiful lake here. And you could also canoe out here as well. You can rent one. I'll take you guys over there in a little bit, but just another angle of this beautiful lake. So here's an overview of the lake right on this. Sometimes when the lake isn't healthy enough, it kind of turns into this green algae kind of forms in here. And along the lines of these stones on the sides of the lake, sometimes you might find like turtles just kind of chilling there for no reason. And what, Michael? And frogs. And frogs. I actually remember the frogs. Uh, what are the bobbers still doing here? Do they just like leave from the fishing bowl? Look at that. What are they trying to catch? Like Mike will say, and you can do a lot of things here at Herrick Lake other than just walk around and use the paths. People like to go and picnic and have a good time and check out them trees. And more entrance to the lake. And those canoes right over there. Okay, so here are some trail markers. Uh, kind of leading you to different parts of Herrick Lake and the top one's kind of the most important one here Because this is a part of the Donata Herrick Lake Regional Trail because this trail over here matter of fact I used to go on this trail a Lot coming to Herrick Lake because where I showed you the previous video how close I was To Wheat Warrenville South High School where I grew up I would just take a trail from my house here to Herrick Lake an easy walk and access over to the lake less than a five minute walk so as you walk around you see a water spigot right over there so I'm kind of thirsty Michael are you thirsty you want to pump up that water spigot I guess we can all right so this is a sad day I uh, used to pump water with a huge lever here and then water would just come out of here Oh. Uh, yeah, that would have been a fun opportunity to take a drink from a nostalgic drinking fountain. Thank you, COVID. And of course, you can kind of look deep into the forests as you walk on the path over here. that leads you over to this bridge. And here's a good old walking bridge. 
to get on one side of the lake to the other. And there's more to the lake. Michael, is there another name to that lake over there? I forget. Or oh, that's still part of Herrick over there. Yeah, this is just a little channel through the bridge here. You can see it from the road, which is just by those poles out there. And that would be Herrick Road right over there, right? Yep. Yes, that's right. Uh, hey, it's been a while since I've been in my little town yep. here, man. That's where I came from this morning. Yep. Same here when I arrived. Very nice and secluded area right here. You can just kind of chill at the bridge and reflect on your thoughts. I guess that's what you decided to do just now. You know, Michael, I think I'm going to join you in some reflection, okay? Oh, that was loose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> very, very nice. It really is. It's great to be back. It is. Even though it's just a short, short amount of time. It brings back old memories, man. It does. So littering this park hurts this park, so litter hurts. Use this recycling bin, and please, my friends, do not be swimming in this lake. It might be fun, might be refreshing, but uh, stay safe and don't, don't swim. And that green stuff that was uh, I was showing earlier, it's uh, algae bloom in progress, so keep away from the water. So where those patch of trees are over there is kind of where the bridge was at, where Michael and I were reflecting and enjoying the shade, but another angle of the lake. Another good place to sit and reflect too, and just kind of enjoy ourselves. Other than just a beautiful walk, a place like this was a was just awesome to kind of get away from it all, even though it's in the middle of a suburban city, but it's just peaceful, quiet, great place to pray and great place to think. And yeah, a lot of great memories here, but by myself or either with Michael or some good friends of ours. So I came across this bench here and it says in loving memory of Greg Guckelson, born in 1953 and died in 2009. He said he was the king of the road. So anytime I'm going to sit down and I'm going to think of that man, the memorial bench here at Herrick Lake. So here's some more trails to kind of meet up over here. And then we'll make our way to the gazebo, which is over there. Came across a sign, it says Century Trail, it'll take glacial information for $500. And here's some information right here. I'll leave a pause if you want to read. Well, it seems like glacier formed lakes like this that are scattered throughout DuPage, but most drained or filled with plants or eroding soils. All right. A lot of good information on this little thing. And the Forest Preserve District of DuPage has been doing these forest preserves for over 100 years. The last time it's been updated was in 2015. Started in 1915, 2015, it's 2021. So, and they're going strong. So this building here is called the South Shelter. So you could reserve it for some parties and stuff or just kind of relax. And we're walking in over here Got a fireplace. So especially during the fall, when it's nice and cool out, you just throw some firewood right on in there. So we got natural marshes that grow on the shoreline of the lake here. But back in the day, Michael and I just realized that they made a the little changes to this place. Here used to be a boardwalk bridge that'll take you a little shortcut because you have to make a trail over this way, another way to get around the lake if you didn't want to walk the bridge. But it looks like they took out the bridge and let the marsh take over. Sad day, because there's a lot of good views of turtles and some little animals over there. So we reach another impasse. If you keep going straight, you go down Meadow Lark Trail, but considering that we're kind of tight on time, we're just gonna finish up the lake trail. So we're gonna head down this direction. 
So here's the, another impasse. So if you keep going on the lake trail straight, and there's the south shelter and the boat rental shelter, but it's telling you so you could go left. But yeah. where Michael's standing, again, here's where the bridge used to be. Yeah. So what are we supposed to do here? Swim? Yeah, it's a sad day, iconic part of this trail here. Uh, the, um, what do you call it? The little the, boardwalk? Yeah, the little boardwalk, yeah. Man. One of my favorite spots growing up, so. Yeah, because you would always see some turtles or, or something that would be kind of playing over here, some frogs, and then you could see some natural marsh grow. Yeah. But they just let the marsh take over, but I, I guess it's part of the being in the forest preserve society. I don't know what kind of bird that is over there, but that is a majestic bird opening up its wings as it swims in Herrick Lake. Wow. Here's the South Shelter, the gazebo area, just another angle of the lake. So there's a dock where you could board your canoes and stuff to go out in the lake, but Michael, what is it that we're going to do when we're 90 year old men if we live that long? At um, 90 years old, uh, as long as we make it, we are going to ride our bikes off this dock as old men. Just just and, for no reason? Yeah, just for fun. You just go get wet you gotta and You got to keep things lively, especially when you start getting up there in age. You, you know. We'll have to maybe put on some life preserves, but it'll be a good time. I, it just might be the might be our way to beat our maker too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so throughout walking path of Herrick Lake, you might run to some hidden paths. Michael, have you been to this path before? I haven't, but it looks like it, it goes deep into the forest and it gets uh, pretty gravelly. Ah. Well, maybe we should go there one day. Oh, yeah. So if we're getting close to conclude our vlog, there's another walking bridge here and people like to engrave their names on the wood. Nothing like reading some carved graffiti on wood and looking at this awesome lake. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun to kayak. So here's some boats that you could rent to take out to the lake. Oh, I just missed it. I heard a bullfrog croak in those marsh bushes. Oh, I just missed it. Well, friends, we're going to go ahead and end the Herrick Lake portion early since time's kind of crunched, but at least you guys can get to have an idea of what, uh, what Michael and I grew up uh, walking around and parts of our families. We just love this area, and we just wanted to share it with you, but Michael and I got to depart. Michael, yeah. it's always good to see you, brother. Yeah, thanks for uh, vlogging together. Yeah. It was definitely a pleasure. Brought back some really good old times. Yeah, man. So, Michael and I, when we were kids, we actually uh, made a lot of fun videos together with our friends and used the iMovie app on the computer and Final all Cut. that. Final Cut and all that good stuff. And we also took uh, courses at Technology Center DuPage. We were in the same class, went to high school and church together. So, and we grew up next to each other. And our parents are good friends as well. So, it, it just, it never ends. So, Always good to see you, buddy. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. So since I'm leaving Herrick Lake, I need to stop by and say hello to my family real quickly that's still around here before we head over to downtown Naperville. But it is tradition, anytime I'm up to the south or in Orlando, Florida, I cannot pass up a 7-Eleven. So, getting a traditional iced coffee beverage, a Slurpee, and I decided to combine a pineapple and blue raspberry flavor and Lindsay wanted a Dr. Pepper so great to have some 7-Eleven again. So here we are in downtown Naperville. You can park for free in this central parking garage. A little strip of shops on Chicago Avenue and a little more things to do down this direction. So the popcorn place I wanted to go to, Garrett's, used to be at that building there, but it got replaced by a Smoothie King, so they relocated somewhere else. Well, let's go ahead and explore downtown Naperville. So on the corner of Chicago Avenue and Washington Street, you get this awesome looking mural right over there. A little more shops. Jimmy's Grill, very good burgers here. And right behind us is a really big Barnes & Noble in this building. Look at this mural as you walk downtown Naperville. 
because the important faces of Naperville it's called the pillars of the community 2001 pause if you want to read If you don't feel like walking, you could just take one of those cabs right there. I'm currently at Everdeen's Grilled Cheese Company. I am not gonna eat grilled cheese. It's really for my wife, but this place was just too awesome to uh, document. So here's some fun quotes. I never met a problem that cheese couldn't solve. Or I like this one here, it says, that has too much cheese on it says no one ever order the soup my mom made it my soulmate is more likely a grilled cheese the secret ingredient is always cheese and here's the menu of well, what you can add to build your own amazing grilled cheese keep calm and eat grilled cheese and they're just the kind of breads you could use and all that good stuff it's also gluten free friendly as well if you have uh, celiacs or gluten intolerance problems. We can get through this if we can have a can do attitude as long as we shake hands. I'll leave a pause if you want to read to check this out. You also got a QR code reader right there. Hopefully, you see more handshakes happening more often now. It'll be great. So a lot like in uh, Dalton, they got the peacocks. Well, throughout downtown Naperville, you got sailboats. How cool is that? So check out this mural. I'm not gonna walk down the alley, but look at this. It's basically the entire downtown Naperville and the townspeople. And I don't know what's going on with this guy here, but something is up. Something surprised him that made him drop his hat. So here in the town area, you got a fountain. I remember being in a youth group, they made some a lot of videos here downtown Naperville and somebody jumped in the fountain when I was a kid. Very cool fountain. So right by the fountain is actually the start of the river walk. Just go down this path here. I don't know how far you walk, but you walk a good while. There's a walking bridge there, it leads to some parks. And alongside the river, there's some shops and some restaurants. Really cool. Walking down the streets of downtown Naperville just brings back so much memories when I was a kid. Like, uh, I, me and I had a little posse of friends. We would just go to this big Barnes and Noble, spend time with the river walk, and, uh, a lot of fun things to do around here. A lot of shops and a lot of ice cream places. I just wish I had some more time to document and do things uh, around here. But I'm just kind of you guys getting the gist of what it's like being where I lived in the suburbs of Chicago. And just walking here just brings back some great memories. Driving on 88 West, ending the day in the great town of Dixon, Illinois. As I'm driving, just this beautiful sunset in the sky. Really awesome. It's a very beautiful sunset out in the distance. If you guys watch enough of my shows, you guys know I love sunsets. Trying to comment on the sunset, buddy? had to pull over and see this for myself you cannot beat let me get a zoom in look above those trees right there you cannot beat a sunset that looks this beautiful which will probably end the vlog right about now well friends as the Sun sets on this beautiful Saturday July 3rd 2021 
ends day three to my trip back up north. I'm just right outside of Dixon, Illinois. Kind of wanted to end it with uh, maybe in downtown or in front of Ronald Reagan's house, but hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to catch some uh, little history of Dixon, just a little bit of something. I would like to get the Ronald Reagan's house tomorrow, but we'll see how the day goes. But I cannot wait to show you guys Dixon tomorrow. It's my first time checking out that town. Kind of would be with my family out there. It's gonna be a fun day. If you're enjoying this little series and enjoy this particular video, please give this video a thumbs up. It shows that you care to enjoy yourself. We went to go to Herrick Lake today, one of my favorite places to go hike and reflect and be with my best friend and just get to walk around downtown Naperville and on our way to Dixon and end it with these beautiful sunsets. Give the video a thumbs up if you've liked it. And please, my friends, if you're a returning viewer or uh, just want to subscribe to my channel, please hit that red subscribe button and ring that notification bell. I'll see you guys on tomorrow's adventure. See you later. Sayonara. Eat well and keep your mind walking. I'll see you guys later.